So we're playing backyard chemist today. A little bit of chooch A, a little bit of chooch B. Copper phenolic. Down in here is a piece of copper wire we've been letting soak for about a minute. Stir this a little bit. Look at this. Yeah. Brand new. Check this out. Or let that sit for a minute. Backyard chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, be back in just a minute. Well, here's the end results of the backyard chemistry test. 15 minutes, and the phenolic is completely etched. And here's a, a little bit of etching with a resist, otherwise vinyl or plastic, or you can even use Sharpie. But this is all stuff they teach you in school. I thought well, I'd actually try it because I got a project where I want to build a big rectifier board for 20,000 and I want it to look super, super slick and not well, ghetto hoopty fat. So yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you. A little bit of back guard chemistry, a little bit of smooch and a little bit of chooch and a little bit of hoo chooch. And even you can look like a professional. The reason I like this is uh, the furonic acid or furonic acid that I was using was staining the boards a little bit of an off brown and this is a lot cleaner. And I can pour this down my drain and I don't have to worry about uh, my pipes dissolving 10 years from now. <laughs> BBI gone. I'll see you. Bye. Backyard chemistry experiment part three. So we got hooch A and hooch B or chooch A and chooch B. And we got our board that we're gonna edge out. So we'll see how this goes. Lay it down in there, making sure not to get any on us. Look at it go, it's already turning green instantaneously all right well let's see how this turns out in about two hours This is done. We took her out of chooch A and chooch B. She got done choochin' around in the wash. This took about an hour. She's perfectly etched. We can't do it like everybody else. We can't just like take a piece of phenolic board and drill a bunch of holes in it and solder all the legs together. No. Of course, this is for significantly higher voltage and higher amperage than most tube boxes. All right, we'll start with the assemblage. God damn, that's pretty. from this to this backyard chemistry set take what four five part five everybody asked me aren't you worried about the little tabs getting hot coming unsoldered no I'm gonna put this inside of a, a Lexan case it's gonna be forced air cooled 
cross ventilated. And I not only overbuilt this, but I doubled that. So what I'm planning on operating this at is uh, less than a fourth of what its full potential is. With 14 rectifiers down this way, or 28 down this way, and then 28 this direction, this being one leg of the rectifier, this being the second leg, and the third leg, and the fourth leg of the rectifier, okay? With the B negative here, and B positive here, and AC here, and AC here, on these tabs up here. Um, <clears throat> in theory, I could do 14,000 at 20 amps. Now the spacing on this board isn't going to allow me to do that. Um, I've read several comments because I've been putting up pictures of this as I've been going on Facebook and it's really the best way to follow me is as I'm producing this stuff on a mass basis per day I'm usually throwing 15 to 20 pictures out there every day on Facebook for all of everybody that is interested to follow you can watch and look at. I call it amp porn. I'm probably going to operate this at no more than about 10,000 volts, 8,000 volts, somewhere in there, depending on which tube is going to be in the amp head. I just recently purchased from Electronic Product Designs, my friend Michelle and Peter down there at uh, EPD, a massive 300-pound transformer that uh, will allow me to pretty much run anything I want. I had it tapped out so I could run anything from four three thousands to uh, a 15 or a 20, along with a filament transformer. I did that for a reason. I want to be able to test tubes. I want to be able to bring stuff like this and drop it in a socket, plug it in and go to work and see how the tube's working. But this is some madness right here. This is not a little bit overbuilt. This is hyperly overbuilt. Um, the transformer that I got is hyperly overbuilt. The, everything around the socket that supports the tube is going to be double or tripled what is actually required to run it. That's the way I like to do things. I mean, one of the first tube boxes I ever got that was not glass, when I got it, it had a string of 10 diodes that went this way, a string of 10 diodes that went this way, a string of 10 diodes that went this way, a string of 10 diodes that went that way. And they were held in place. And I, remember, these are diodes, 10 amp diodes like this that are, the legs have been twisted together and then soldered. And it was held in place inside the box by three zip ties. One here, one here, and one in the middle, on the bottom. <laughs> it was scary. I took a look at that one. Overbuilt. Overdesigned and build it solid. If you buy an AC box for me, if you're one of the lucky people that I actually agree to build an AC box for, which I'm not a big fan of doing because the liability is so stinking high, we've lost, what, we lose last year? Six guys that I counted? And this year we're already up to four or five people sticking their hands inside of shit not knowing what they're doing and they're going on to be with God. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't want to contribute to that, so that's why I usually stick to just the little DC boxes, but it's not that I don't know how. It's called I choose not to. But that is a lot of work. Anyhow, you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a fun little project. Now the downside is, is when I was etching the board in here, um, even though I had fans running and everything, Mr. Black's gift to me started to patina. Imagine that, muriatic acid and freaking hydrogen peroxide together spits off chlorine. Go figure, that reacts with steel. But uh, we moved outside. Sure is pretty. Cannot wait to test some tubes with this. Wink, wink, nod, nod. My name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out www.bbiamps.com. See ya.